So the Grade 1 Hey Jocelyn Chase next in from Oitoi. Three more, three furlongs this one. And number one is Aqua Blue, two is Blue Blood. Three, Damage. Four, Formidable Mick. Five is Grapes of Wrath. Six is Great White Hope. Seven, John the Baptist. Eight, Maldives. Nine is Right On. Ten is Sand Tiger. Eleven, Sweet Simply. Twelve is Tulit. Thirteen, Beautiful in Black. And fourteen, Tragic Joe. These are Grand National style fences in, in the way they look. I don't think they're quite as big, though. Um, and, oops, I don't know what that was all about. Synchronised leap to start with the invisible first fence and they come down to the second and formidable mick leads let's hope that hasn't surprised the horses as much as it did me that was a curious beginning to the race but it's a damaging formidable mick who come through to the next and they take it well all jumping it big and safe and damage and formidable mick are about four lengths clear of the main pack were pretty tightly grouped beautiful in black is in red on the rail the one in the light blue is right on with the yellow cap next to that one is john the baptist in the black and red hoops and tragic joe is in the green and yellow hoops then comes sand tiger and grapes of wrath mold thieves and tea lits the gray that's the nearest gray to us the back marker is aqua blue at the moment the other gray on the inside there is great white hope so they're making their way out towards the next then. Whether we're going to get any more invisible fences or not. But over this next one we go. And all nicely over that one. With damage in the lead. By about three to formidable Mick. And then John the Baptist. And beautiful in black. Tragic Joe right on. Tealit closest to us. And Sand Tiger on the uh, rail as they jump that next one. And Great White Hope has been relegated to the back. Still a long old way to go then. And no great pace on at all. As damage shows in the way. At the next. All safely over that one. Uh, damage continues to lead. Beautiful in black. Heads the chasing pack. They're all pretty tightly grouped as they come past the stand. And the winning post. I think they've got to go around another twice. Pretty sharp oi toy track here. And... Great White Hope continues to bring up the rear, and the other grey tealit is only just in front of him. So the greys are at the back, and damage is up the front. Or well, maybe we should call that damage as we're in Paris, but there you go. Damage in the lead. From Beautiful in Black second, Tragic Joe third, then right on fourth, Sand Tiger's moved up well on the inside, and then Formidable Mick has just been squeezed back a bit. Aqua Blue's made a bit of ground as well, and then Sweet Simply John the Baptist has shuffled back a little bit. Then Tealit, Great White Hope making a bit of ground as they jump the next. And oh, we've lost one there. Tealit's gone. Tealit sort of toppled over on land in there and he's out of the race. And that's relegated um, Grapes of Wrath to last as they take that next one. Damage's lead is now down to two or three lengths. And they're a halfway point fence wise. And got just under two miles to go as they jump the next. And they're all safely over that one. And damage in the lead tragic joe and beautiful in black together in second and third then a small gap to sand tiger on the rail with sweet simply in the green on the outside of aqua blue and formidable mick just in behind that one is right on Maldives is now the back marker and across the many little paths we have on this course And it's still damage in the lead. Just teal it out of the race so far then. Damage takes them along in front with Tragic Joe in second. Beautiful in black is third as they jump the next. And they all stream nicely over that one as well. With just a little over a mile and a half still to race. And damage has led all the way so far from Tragic Joe in second. I feel very tightly grouped though and they're all still in another squeak here as they take this downhill fence. And they're all over that one, one or two shaky jumps in mid-division, but everybody over it safely, and damage continues to lead. Tragic Joe hunting that one up in second. Then comes Beautiful in Black and Aqua Blue. That one's moved through the field nicely. Sweet Simply has got a bit of daylight now as well. They jump that next one. Formidable Mick on the inside of that one. The grey, great white hope didn't jump that too well. Round past the post then. One more trip round. And they'll be done and the damage has led past the winning post twice can he make it three times 
Or will something come and pick him off? He's going well enough in the lead at the moment. Oh, jumping well. And we've got to pull up there. Grapes of Wrath, maybe. And Great White Hope as well. Great White Hope has definitely pulled up. I think Grapes of Wrath probably gave up the ghost a little bit before that. Yes, he did. And it's damage in the lead as the field thins out just a little bit. But damage is comfortable in front from Tragic Joe in second. Beautiful in black is third. Aqua Blue four. Then Formidable Mick five. Sweet Simply six as they jump the next. And all big jumps again there. Particularly quick jumps though. And damage is um, still in front. That's a slightly smaller fence there. And a bit of a mistake by Beautiful in black. But damage still leads with just over six furlongs to go. Six and a half furlongs. Damage in the lead. Tragic Joe in second. Then Aqua Blue, Beautiful in Black. Formidable Mick. Tragic Joe's up there still. And over that next one. And still damage in front, but he's now being challenged by Beautiful in Black. Beautiful in Black on the outside. Aqua Blue coming now with a run in third. Then a gap back to Tragic Joe and Formidable Mick. But this front three with five furlongs to go. A good three lengths clear. And Aqua Blue is the first one to go. As they race down towards the four furlong mark. Coming out of the pack is right on. That one's going well. Uh, Tragic Joe is plodding on one pace. But he's starting to get going a little bit. As damage just starts to slow down a bit. But Aqua Blue's in front. And comes up to this next one. And goes straight through it. But gets away with it. And there's some tired horses out here at the moment I think. But Aqua Blue is in the lead. From Beautiful in Black. Damage is plugging on in third. Right on is plugging on in fourth. And Tragic Joe is a bit one paced in fifth. They've got two to jump. Here's the second last. Over that one safely. And it's Aqua Blue racing down towards the final fence. Looking like he's possibly only got to jump it. As Beautiful in Black is under the whip. Damage is still there third. Right on drilling on, but he's too far behind at the last. Over it he goes. Aqua Blue clear from Beautiful in Black second. Damage is back in third. But this is all about Aqua Blue. It's going to be another grade one win here. Up towards the line, Aqua Blue wins it quite comfortably. And in second is Beautiful in Black, close for third in the end, but it might just have been right on from damage. He ran a really brave race. Blue Blood ran on towards the end, Formidable Mick dropped away. Aqua Blue, another grade one for Graham. Beautiful in Black second, right on a third. A brave damage in fourth.